Okay, so I ran a few tests and um, just trying to see if I could make this work in the pit. And what I found is that, at least so far, at least with minions, the infinite blood mist, it just does not help. Okay, now I did learn a few things, and, and who knows, maybe actually I can incorporate something into similar to it into this build. But probably the biggest problem, the two biggest problems, okay, um... I have to come out of it every once in a while because my minions will not follow me if there's no combat going on. They only move to go and attack enemies. So if I get any length of distance ahead of them, they just stand there. They do not follow me. So I have to come out of it to get them to come catch up with me. So that can be dangerous, especially if you're doing like a really high level pit, then, you know, anything can can one shot you. OK, because what I found, OK, now it's a very you know, you're you're immune, you're immortal. OK, wait, I'm sorry. One other thing too. the. Um, Ring of sacrilegious souls does not work. Even though I have those skills equipped and it says it does it automatically, it does not cast them automatically. Um, as long as I am in the blood mist form, raised skeletons, corpse explosion, corpse tendrils, they do not work. They do not cast. And so what that means is that my minions, which would normally be getting healed by my raised skeleton making the skeletal priest, there now is no skeletal priest. So they never get healing, and and I, I did a low level pit, a level 61, and they they started dying. They started dying, even though they're they're normally pretty resilient to dying. It's like without that healing, they just um they just couldn't survive. So the whole idea behind this was that. By having infinite invulnerability, I could take away all of my defensive stuff and switch it all over to offense. And when I realized that my minions were going to have a tough time, I said, okay, well, how can I, how can I fix this? How can I make this better? So my, my first thought mainly was blood orbs. So... Blood orbs heal my minions. So I went to um, here first. My blood skills, 9% chance to create a blood orb at the target location. Can only occur once every 4 seconds. Well, with lucky hit, even with just 9% chance, there's a chance I'm going to get a blood orb. So it, 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 can, it can come up. And so I changed that over to blood orb. But also there is um, there is this one here, consuming a corpse, thirty percent chance to spawn a blood orb. So I was like, okay, I can use this aspect here, so that blood mist triggers corpse explosion. <clears throat> the corpse explosion consumes a corpse. And I'll create blood orbs. The blood orbs would keep my guys healed up. Um, and that that actually worked. My minions were pretty resilient. They, they, you know, I'd probably have to try to perfect that a little more because I have to <coughs> actually go get the blood orbs. But also, I didn't have my curse. My curse, I couldn't cast my curse. So I put on this aspect here so that automatically curse enemies around me with their prepify and iron maiden um by the way these were just spare items that i had these are not my normal items and so i put some um i tempered them up i switched out some abilities i did not want life per second but 
I couldn't get the one that I was looking for, which was, um... Can't remember what it is now I wanted, but I wanted a... Pretty simple one. It wasn't, wasn't anything major, I don't think, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't roll. Anyways, uh, I just stopped because it was, like, draining my money super fast. Um... But I did put in a lucky hit chance to immobilize, um, and I it just happened to have plus two to decrepify, so that was that was kind of kind of good. And 25% blood healing, so I figured help my minions out a little bit. Summoning damage and chance to stun with this one. Now notice I I didn't really need the max life. You don't you don't need maximum life. And here I, I just happened to roll Skeletal Mage Mastery plus two, so that was kind of nice. Um, damage reduction for my minions to try and help them to stay alive. I didn't want Golem damage, I wanted summoning damage. Um, and I wanted movement speed while in Blood Mist form, but I didn't get it, I just got regular movement speed. I did change this over to movement speed while in blood mist form. It actually works pretty good, I gotta admit. These are my normal boots, but um, and so I kind of wasted the normal movement speed that it had. But I realized, and I, I I didn't didn't even know this really, but I've got I've got this one right here, and I never I never even realized that I have that. For some reason, I never had it out here. I don't know why I never, I never even thought to use it, but I can, I can use that one if I need to. And I got this one. I actually get. No, this is, this is my my other one. I don't know why I got this here. So, and, and it somewhat worked, it somewhat worked, but it was only a level 61, but I didn't gain anything because I had to put these aspects in, um, just for the sake of keeping my minions alive. So there's... There's no real opportunity to get I don't know how to describe this. There's no real opportunity to, to improve my offense. Seeing as how I have to use these just to make blood orbs just to heal my minions. The only way I could think of doing it, and I, I can't, I can't see this working either, is if I get, let's say, like life to hit, life per hit, and I think my minions would get that. They would attack. They would get life per hit. I think. And then they would be able to heal themselves as they're attacking. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't actually know how much life they have. I don't know. This guy here has got forty-two thousand life. So but anyways, they without them being able to get the healing from the skeletal priest, it just doesn't work. There's just because they just they just eventually take damage and die, and I'll just I'll just do one real quick. I actually did two of them. Let me uh, just sell this stuff here. Actually, yeah, I gotta I can actually sell it because.
kind of funny. Just, just trying to get something good uh, here. This cost me it's about all my money. Probably the only offense that I got was maybe having extra intelligence. Because I didn't need the bonus to life. And, and you know, you, you could say, well, um, you know, I got max life there. I could instead use a weapon with extra intelligence. You know, same thing here. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not quite optimizing as much as I could also my glyphs um, so this one I would not need this one at all anymore this one I probably would not need this anymore I could go for something with some kind of like this multiplicative damage 10% Yeah, so, you know, my glyphs are probably not... My Paragon are probably not optimized as much as they could be, especially if I, you know, I spent points on this stuff here. Maximum life armor. I do need the armor because my minion's armor is the same as my armor, so I do need the armor, but I don't need the max life. So I probably could have tried to get armor in some other way and put these paragon points to something more more valuable I wasn't I wasn't consuming corpses since the ring of sacrilegious soul was not working However, I am consuming corpses with um, with this one, but it's only one per second. So I'm not really seeing that much benefit from the what's that flesh eater. So it's hurting me there. I'm sure there are better legendary nodes I could I could be using, I guess. But I th I think the biggest the biggest problem is just not having these free Um, aspects or something that would increase my damage. I think that's the biggest reason why this is not going to work. Like I said, I'll, I'll play a, I'll play a, I'll just do another level 61. I did want to change this out too, but it's not going to matter. It's just it's only a level 61, so Hoping you'll be able to hear me, okay? Takes the gameplay is also a little strange. Takes a little getting used to.
So my minions weren't following me because there's no creatures around. But as you notice, my blood mist came immediately back. And that's because I guess that um, this is cumulative. out of it for a minute because my mages were way up there and that's like half of my damage so I had my skeletons and I had my golem here and that was nice but not the mages so I had to come out of it for a minute but as I was saying this effect here blood mist uh, when it detonates a corpse its cooldown is reduced by 0.6 seconds I guess that's just continuous so whenever it's detonating a corpse it's getting that bonus so if I detonate 60 corpses in between you know and then I come out of it well that's 60 times 0. 0.6 that's 36 seconds right so it'll be right back in media I'll be able to use it so maybe that's kind of nice um, but you have to be careful when moving because if you move and you move too long, you will come out of it. And since you're going to have everything into offense, you will be really, really vulnerable to the enemies around you. Ah. Okay, I did it wrong. I have to hold in this button. Instead, I was holding down my movement key. It's a little tricky. Something I got to get used to. Now, I'm able to go right now because this is only a level 61, so things can't really kill me. If this was 100, I'd be dead. Now I can come out of it and get right back into it, most likely. I'd, be, I'd have been dead right there if that was a 100.
dead right here. It is nice to be immortal, but, you know, in something like the pit, which is a timed event, you have to be able to do the damage, too. And, you know, my damage just did not go up enough, at least as far as I can see yet, to make it justifiable. Now, if I had... If I didn't have to worry about my minions to where I didn't need this corpse with blood orbs and blood mist detonating a corpse and stuff like that, if I could have just damage increasing aspects, then this would probably be really good. But with the minions, you know, if the Ring of Sacrilegious Soul worked with it, then, you know, then maybe. But even that. Even that is 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 still giving up, you know, something, you know, just to keep the minions alive. The only thing that I did kind of get out of this is that well, I was thinking that maybe I could incorporate this this kind of effect here into my build but I, I don't think I need it I don't, I don't think I need it I think with my with my minions um, reducing the cooldown of a, of a skill I think it's like by two seconds or something like that I should have blood mist often enough I was thinking of trying to incorporate this uh, this whole idea of uh, blood orbs into my build, but I'm I'm giving up too much. I'm giving up that damage reduction, that damage reduction, temerity, and I, and I the only reason why I replaced this is because I I couldn't use um, corpse tendrils when in blood mist form. So it ju it just won't work with minions unless there's some way I can find to heal my minions. And they'd have to, I'd have to, they'd have to be able to come up. And look, one of them even died now. Or two of them, two of them died. Two of my skeletons died. And it's probably just because I didn't... I did not get the blood orbs. Or maybe I just didn't hit the blood orbs or... Something like that. All right. I'm going to put my other build back on. I may or may not play a little bit more. But I, I think... Even with this... Um, discovery of the... Uh, this infinite blood mist. I think I, I'm pretty much ready to wrap up the season. Um... Just to uh, you know, do as much as I can. Use my Stygian stones. By the way, I did get a Stygian stone. 
from doing a level 61. A level 61 uh, hit. Go figure, huh? Well struck. You know, it cost me, I don't know, I'm going to guess about 20 million gold. All in all. To experiment with this to see if, you know, what would happen with it. And, eh. You know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a bug. It's something that's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be fixed. You know, I don't know why Blizzard would take as long as it does to fix some of these bugs. But. I don't know. <laughs> I just think that Blizzard, the, the developers for Diablo 4 could do a better job with some of these kinds of things. And who knows? They might even come back and say, nope, this is working as intended. Although I, I can't see how they would do that. I, I can't even see how... By looking at this description, how could it even, how could it even make that happen? Entering or exiting blood mist resets your evade cooldown. You can evade during blood mist, traveling twice as How would that have any effect at all on... Being able to just infinitely cast blood mist. It didn't have anything to do with resetting blood mist's cooldown, right? It's the evade cooldown. I don't know. So strange. Alright. Let me uh, go put my build back to the way that it was. Do a couple of little chores and stuff getting ready for work in the morning and then maybe I'll maybe I'll play a little bit more but I'm not sure we'll see it's already kind of late all right if I don't play tonight I will see you all tonight tomorrow night okay bye everyone